Good morning, my fellow YouTubers. I want to show you how I have remotely controlled my magnetic loop aerial. Uh, as you can see, inside is a big capacitor, and I have connected a servo to it using off the shelf components, and uh, the servo moves very easily. So I'm controlling it using CAT M1 cable, which comes here, comes up, comes up to here. I'm using Arduino with a six volt battery pack uh, to actually control the direction. And based on where the potentiometer is, that's where the servo will be. And I'm getting 180 degrees, which covers the range of the servo. So let's have a look on the screen. I will now turn the potentiometer around. Oh, wrong way. As I turn the potentiometer, it moves the capacitor, which as you can see, covers the full band of 80 meters. And the sensitivity is no problem. I can move it uh, extremely small increments and it's fine because it's a highly geared servo it's a 48 gram servo there's nothing to listen to at the moment so it's pretty quiet but i want to show you the effect of the remote tuning it looks beautifully and when i want a position that i want such as say i want it there all i do is disconnect the power here which is to the servo and it will stay there forever so I don't need to be consuming servo power while stationary. Of course, I'll set all this up neatly uh, in a little box. Maybe use a smaller Arduino board, the little cheap one, Arduino, because it's going to do a pretty bas basic job. That's about it. <laughs> Works beautifully. Uh, I'm running five meters of Cat Cat Five cable. Uh, we'll try longer lengths, 10, 10 meters or so shouldn't be a problem. The other thing I would strongly suggest is you put a big capacitor such as this one. Uh, at the end of the cable where the servo is between the positive and negative of the uh, power supply. This actually does make a difference. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll give you one last shot of the servo.